is is the vision there that actually he's coming up with a counter to the ethnic federalism and actually which is a new, a new national political party which is going to push for a kind of a, a new form of national ba- national bargain to bring all the the various groups together yeah i think that's a reasonable a reasonable description um i think the the creation of the prosperity party like you know many political events has a number of motivating factors yep. um the eprdf coalition well it was a narrow coalition right because it didn't yeah. have formal representation for the five other regions um they were just a, a, affiliated to the ruling party so there's that desire to see a national party yeah but perhaps more importantly there's also the fact that the eprdf was in utter disarray mm. i mean we have the amhara and the tigray um ruling parties in you know some sort of well just a very acrimonious sure. relationship territorial disputes right. um all sorts of of other bitterness um centered around you know allegations of, of tplf dominance of the yeah. of the coalition and the country um we have this situation in southern ethiopia right. where it's kind of potentially that mm, ruling wing right is splitting up yeah. into its into its constituent parts um the um oromia uh, party is 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 in the is in the ascendancy but there's there's tensions there and there's tensions mm. with with the other region particularly Amhara and, okay. and Tigray as well so we just have quite a dysfunctional coalition right. really right. and this has been a process which has kind of been ongoing since prime minister Meles died in in 2012 so for Abiy as the prime minister he is the great reforming yeah. uh, transforming right. um, prime minister you don't i don't think he wanted to go into an election um, presiding over such uh, a, a coalition in, in such disarray, and I think there was, so there was the clear motivation there for him to have um, a political um, vehicle mm. which matched his aspirations. The other more ideological, structural issues that you raise are the really thorny ones in in Ethiopia. Um, I think we have to be a little bit circumspect at the moment. Yeah. In part, we're in this sort of almost in a legal limbo land at the moment, and we, you know we're going to move to a, a situation where Prosperity Party starts to establish itself. Right. You know, we will see what it looks like yeah. when it gets down to business. But um, it is a move against regional political um, autonomy within the, the party political sphere, right. not within right. the government. The sphere. constitution obviously remains the same, whatever Absolutely. they advocate. Uh, yeah. No, yeah. Certainly yeah. for now. Um, yeah. And um, it, it, the, the mechanism of doing that is by empowering the national leaderships and the national decision-making committees and reducing the autonomy yeah. of, the, of, of the parties. Now they are called chapters, which make up this, this coalition. Uh-huh. So the idea in a positive sense here yeah. is to streamline decision-making yeah. um, so that there's less... So that there's less paralysis yeah. um, it's also to bring people together into one organization so yes there's more of a national focus to decision making mm. rather than this mm. sort of constant regional bargaining the other side of the coin is that now we have political structures party political structures yeah. which are out of step with the ethno regional federal yeah. structures right where is that leading over the, over the long term? Um, advocates of the Prosperity Party who are looking to bring people on board with this, especially the existing regional elites, mm. will say this is not a challenge to the multinational or ethnic mm. federal system. This is simply a, a matter of streamlining and improving national mm. decision making. Other people will say this federalism was created by the EPRDF mm. and it was managed by the EPRDF. It was monopolized yeah. by the EPRDF. Now the EPRDF has converted into a national party. Does that create tensions within the system yeah. that will eventually leading to an erosion of mm. ethno-regional mm. autonomy? Yeah. And then we're pushing at these very core questions in, you know, in, in Ethiopian history, especially recent political history, the balance of power between the center and the regions. Right. Um, and whilst... Um, you know, whilst obviously there's, there's growing concern about competing right. ethno-nationalisms and, mm. and, and segregation um, and everything that comes with ethnic politics, mm. lurking in the background is that concern that um, if there is um, perceived to be a, a balance between the centre and the, and, the re- and the regions, and, which is not to the liking um, of regional communities, then could we um, you know, slip back into the sort of um, hostile relations between the, 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 the regions and the centre that we've seen in the past. And 
as I understand it, the biggest source of opposition to the new prosperity party is coming from the the TPLF group within the the ruling coalition at the moment. Yeah, I mean they they they've, from what I understand, they're saying that it's this is not what, where we need to go right now. There are a lot of other issues we need to deal with, and they seem to be kicking against that. I mean, how serious a problem is that for Prime Minister Abbey's project? In, Terms of, given that he seems to have quite a bit of support uh, in among the Oromo and among the Amhara for the project, but if the TPLF steadfastly opposes it, is that going to be a real problem? Um, potentially, yes, but I wouldn't necessarily class it as the um, as the biggest problem, mm. or, or, or whatever your exact terminology was. Yeah. What I would say is it's the starkest opposition. Yeah. Right. The, the TPLF Executive Committee, the TPLF Central Committee. Yeah. Um, and well, I should uh, actually say for our, for our listeners that it's the Tigrayan People's Liberation Front, and this is the historic movement that was part of the you know, Liberation War in Ethiopia for a long time. So that, that's now this very strong, it's been this very strong political entity in, in Ethiopia since the 1991 political change. Sorry. Yeah, generally considered the yeah. preeminent party within the four party coalition and, and yeah. considerable control of the security appar- federal security apparatus and that right. type of thing. Right. Um, what, what I was saying is that the, the TPLF opposition is the starkest yeah. and we can see that because they're not a member of the new prosperity party right they right. haven't signed up for it yeah so four no, parties no one at all from Tigray or has well shown I, it. I, I wouldn't like to make make well, that, we don't that, know. that claim <laughs> yeah right um, but let's just describe yeah, the, what what the, we know so, so yeah. four party ruling coalition um, the three parties, the Southern Amhara and Oromia, yeah. have signed up for their own legal dis- dissolution and being merged in the Prosperity Party. Right. It's five parties from the other ruling regions are joining them. Okay. As we went to press. Right. Um, and the TPLF said no thanks. Okay. Yeah, so that's, so that's, that's, that's where we are, very stark opposition. I, w- I will speak to that first yeah. and then maybe just you get back to why I think the distinction is important between the, you know, the biggest problem and the starkest opposition. Yeah. Um, you know, Tigray's obviously have been a very powerful region, and we are. It's also it, it, you know, very serious um, downturn in relations with Addis Ababa and mm. with the Amhara ruling party. The TPLF continuing um, uh, acrimonious relations with President Isaias and, and, and the ruling uh, elite up there, an yeah. obstacle to imp- some advancements in the Ethiopia Eritrea peace process. Yeah. This doesn't look like it's going to help. Um, it looks like Tigray is going to be um, increasingly detached is the wrong word, but yeah. you know certainly ploughing a slightly different furrow yep. to the politicians in, in Addis and, and elsewhere. Mm. People exaggerate a little bit about how remote and alienated um, you know, Tigray is from the from the centre. They're still just a regular functioning part of the of the, of the federal state in terms of yeah. budgetary arrangements and things. There are some specific issues in terms of. Um, essentially refusing to comply with federal arrest warrants, mm. rejection of a federal boundary commission. Sure. There's some, there are some issues there. Yeah. Um, and unfortunately, it looks like we're, we're leading into a situation where those types of relations will continue. Right. What I think that is going to become in, increasingly on the radar um, as we approach this election, which yeah. I'm sure we'll get to, is well, how is the federation going to, to function? Um, if we have an, we have a multi-party environment, real political pluralism and dynamism, yeah. opposing parties yeah. running different regions and running the federal government, yeah. it's all a bit untested. Um, obviously, this is something that can be hashed out and developed mm. and negotiated, you know. But it is untested, right. and it is you know uncharted territory for Ethiopia. And I think that's a particularly stark challenge if you have a ruling party like TPLF, assuming they come out victorious in Tigray region in the election, which looks likely. How are they going to cooperate with the federal government and the other regions when they are kind of formally outside of the ruling party? Can you just explain the difference between the regional elections and the national elections? So as I understand it, um, I think to get uh, to sign up to form a national party in Ethiopia now, you need 10,000 members, I think, to sign up uh, and then you qualify. So to oppose the prosperity as a party, as a national entity, uh, whoever it is, whether TPLF or whoever else, they have to get an entity together with 10,000 members and to mount a kind of national challenge, yeah? So there's, a, there's, there's quite a distinction between who wins in the regions and who, uh, a, and who elects the, the head of the, the regions, the regional governments, and then who, who, who wins at the centre. 
yeah, I would, I, yeah, I would break that down in slightly yeah. simpler, simpler terms. Yes, I mean, in, 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 you know, in what, what in May or there or thereabouts, you know, we'll yeah. have elections for the federal parliament, right? And then we'll have elections for the nine state councils, and then also right. for two city administrations, right? The sort of semi-autonomous cities, Addis Ababa and Diri Dawa. Yeah. Well, what we're looking at there is each region has a proportion of the federal parliament. Mm. Um, which is proportional to their population. So Tigray yeah. is a relatively small population, okay. so it has a relatively small number of federal seats. Right. So it has like 36 um, federal parliament seats compared to Oromia's 178. Oromia yeah. has about 35, 40 million people. Yeah. Um, and then in addition to that, you have the state councils. Yeah. Um, and you know, they will be competed for by, uh, primarily for, by, by, by regional parties as, as I understand it also worth remembering we are moving into sort of unprecedented territory Perfect. here in terms yeah. of the level of opposition activity yeah. hopefully the amount of freedom to campaign and mobilise and yeah. fundraise yeah. and for people to report and monitor the selection so it's going to be very different to before um, but I think that's what we're looking at so in terms of forming the federal government well you've mm. got to form a majority in the, um, in the federal parliament it doesn't have to be through one party obviously you can just no. form a coalition yeah. um, 547 seats so um, you know, you need to get past the 50% plus one so with some form of coalition. It's going from position right now where the EPRTF has 100% of the seats. So it, it, you couldn't imagine, a, as you say, uh, well, it's untested. And, 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 and it could be very, very different for, for Prime Minister Abbey uh, after, after the elections. I think they're, they're, at the moment they're, they're scheduled for May 2020. Yeah, May. Uh, yeah, there yeah. seems to be talk that there might be some sort of technical delay to allow yeah. a lot more preparation. Yeah. But yeah, I know. So I talked about, you know, what do we do if TPLF is running Tigray but outside of the federal government? Yeah. There's a much broader question yeah. there, right? Yeah. What happens if um, the Prosperity Party wins a majority in the federal parliament, maybe yeah. with some allies, but the Oromo, the ethno nationalist, the Oromo nationalist opposition um, win control of Oromia's? Government, that, you know, so you've got a kind of cohabitation uh, factor. Yeah. There, so are we are we are we going to bring in the uh, top regional politicians, so to speak, into the federal government? How inclusive is the government going to be in those circumstances? How well are the governments going to coordinate on policy and security and all the rest of it um, if they are for, if they are governed by by opposing um, political entities? This is on the radar. Um, sorry, this is on the horizon. Yeah. And I and I think. You know, classically, you know, very divergent views. I had someone close to the PM say me the Prime Minister was going to win big time, yeah. only man with a vision for the country. Op 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 opposition, ethno nationalist opposition, saying that the Prosperity Party has no chance anywhere but Addis and Amahara. Right. Like, if we take the middle position there, then we're probably looking at a mixed control of the regions in terms of opposing parties and potentially. Right. You know, someone cobbling together a majority, maybe with at, alliance at the at federal the level. Yeah. Right, so that's right. so we're moving into very different different kind of um, political sphere there. Just so, yeah. just to very quickly get back to my original thought here, yeah. um, the TPLF is starkly opposed. They are formally legally outside of the Prosperity Party. Yeah. Arguably, the biggest challenge and the biggest political issue here mm. is the dissent expressed by the. Um, Defence Minister, the former Oromia President, close yeah. ally, yeah. the two um, of the Prime Minister, and that's Lemma Magursa. Uh, that's, now he's, yeah. he, he said that in in, in America. Uh, no, I think I, I think it was it was a, it was a VOA Afan Oromo. Oh, okay. I, I, I believe okay. he was I believe he was interviewed here. I'd have to, okay. to check. And now that's a very yeah. significant political development potentially. Right. If 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 this is if Lemmer is not playing using you know political strategies here and is genuine about his opposition to yeah. the Prosperity Party, then you know how much of the uh, ruling party elite in Oromia is he going to bring with him? How much of the um, of the Oromo street, so to speak, is he going to be with him? Is he going to yeah. formally ally yeah. with um, with the other um, Oromo nationalist entities like Jawa Mohammed and Bekele Gerba for the wow. Oromo Federalist Congress? Right. Potentially a huge political problem for the ruling party right. in Oromia, thus potentially more significant than, T than the TPLF's stark uh, opposition. And what the Defence Minister was saying was he thought it was a bad move, they, they shouldn't convert the EPRDF into this prosperity party, but so where does he go with that? Then he, he, he forms a, he could form a powerful opposition within Oromia, but not necessarily get involved in a national challenge to the Prosperity Party. I mean, 
as far as I understand it, the EPRDF is going to, is going to be relabeled as the Prosperity Party. It has and been, some, yeah. yeah. it has been. And some people are going to drop out and some people... But, but as...